What's up beautiful people? It is a beautiful day here in Nashville and I'm really excited because it's actually Steven's birthday and so we're gonna be celebrating with the kids this evening but um, I actually whisked him away last night for a little getaway. There's this little mountaintop tree house that we found and it was so relaxing. It had a fire pit and a hot tub and it was just really beautiful and wonderful to get away for a night to slow down a little bit. He's actually been super super busy and he had to leave as soon as we got home this afternoon because he's closing on a couple of clients houses and has two more that he's listing this weekend and so it's been a really busy week for him but that's good things are you being gentle Lincoln yeah, yeah, you are yeah, <laughs> it doesn't yeah, look like you're being gentle yeah, yeah. he um, he just got off the bus Ethan just got home from school hey bud and do you guys want to help me make the icing for daddy's cake yeah I'm really excited because we have several big things that we are looking forward to including the girls graduation which is coming up really really soon and Kira's actually been doing her official testing because she's an online yeah. student and so she's yeah. testing this week and next week and then Penelope's cap and gown just came in and so we're really excited as we gear up for the graduations for both of them um, but it's gonna be fun celebrating Steven and just taking care of a few things today also guys I wanted to say thanks to Walmart for sponsoring this video and I just got the cutest haul in that I ordered online on walmart.com and it is perfect timing because I can definitely take some of these pieces on the girls graduation cruise in a couple of weeks like this adorable dress by the brand 98 that is so pretty and flowy and it's perfect for those warm summer nights coming up and I paired it with these adorable woven sandals by Wonder which are actually my second pair because my daughter kept taking the first pair that I had so now we have two and we can just match in our cute little sandals and then I love these high-waisted button-down shorts by Time and True they fit so comfortably and can go with so many tops like this super soft green t-shirt by Moshu or this adorable peach and white lacy tank that is the perfect summer color. I love shirts like this that are both comfortable but have a bit of an elevated look with details like lace. I also really like these army green shorts with an elastic waist in the back for an ultra comfortable fit and they're also by Time and True and I love how it looks with the black lacy tank. It's the same as the peach one so I had to get more than one color. But it also looks great with this cute textured button front top and honestly it was just hard to choose because they have so many great pieces. All of my items feel like such good quality and yet they were so affordable so I am super happy with them and you guys can shop these items and so much more by clicking the link in our description box so I'm checking on all of my plants real quickly um, we don't have anything in the raised garden beds yet because we're supposed to wait until the first week of May because we can still get some frost so I've just been keeping these on the back patio here and checking on them but we have some strawberries a lemon bush tree that's like a little compact one a compact patio peach tree that I don't know it seems like maybe it's not quite too happy um, but that's kind of how it came so I'm just wondering like why it's not really blooming much but we'll see um, and then we have raspberries blackberries these two are blackberries um, and we've got a couple of different varieties of tomatoes some yellow ones and some little mini red ones and some little sweet pepper plants here and there's my raspberry bush and then some more strawberries down here on the end there's so many bees that just keep kind of swarming around here I think because of the plants but it's nice and warm and sunny and I'm so grateful the water is like really full but yeah this is my setup right now for my plants and just trying to keep them alive until we can get them in the raised garden beds here in the next few weeks um, but so far I think they're doing okay they seem to be pretty happy I feel like Nashville in the spring has a little bit of an identity crisis because sometimes it gets really hot but then it'll get really cold um, and you want it to get some sunshine but you don't want it to be like poured down on with the rain and so I feel like I'm having to like take them out and then put them back in and then six hours later take them back out and so um, it's been keeping me on my toes a little bit but I'm like determined to keep these plants alive I've not really been the best with plants in the past but I'm very determined to actually keep these alive and grow a garden and have food that we can harvest out of our own yard and so I'm really excited so far it's been about a month maybe six weeks and they're still alive so Just got home from taking some tests. 
you guys know that she is an online student and so this is her final week of school and she's got testing this week mm -hmm. and next week but they already gave you the grades for yeah two of them? i got them um whenever i finish the test the highest score that you can get is a 20 and i got an 18 on science and a 19 in social studies that is like so amazing like i'm so proud of you girl you. i know she was like super nervous and i thought i was gonna get like a nine and a 12. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I knew you were gonna do great, but that is awesome. That is like right there near perfect. So I'm so proud of you. Dad's really proud of you. He was celebrating with her before she got home. Um, and so yeah, it's kind of like a double celebration. It's Dad's <laughs> birthday and you are just acing your tests. And she has a couple more next week mm -hmm. and then you'll officially be graduated. graduated. And Penelope too, she has like another week and a half of school and then, um, then she'll be walking across the stage. But we're actually going on a graduation cruise early in May for all three of the girls, because um, Reese didn't really do a graduation party, and yeah. so we're gonna actually do a party after Penelope walks across the stage, and we're gonna celebrate Kira and Penny, and just have like a big celebration, but the, the three girls and I are going to do a graduation cruise out of Florida in early May, and so there's a lot of exciting things as far as graduation goes coming up. But yeah. Penny's cap and gown just came in too, so I wanna see her try that on. Pretty much cut something like this. Look at you. Oh my gosh, Penny. <laughs> graduate, graduate, graduate. Does it feel does it feel real now? Like it's actually happening? Oh my god, it's crazy. I'm so excited. In just like less than two weeks now, a week this and a half. half. Yes, this half finally on. You love it? Finally! <laughs> Girl, I just had to say we are so, so proud of you. Thank you. You worked so hard. Thank you. And we can't wait to celebrate with you. Yes. It's going to be so fun. Don't. And then go on our cruise. Yes. Woo! That's the main point. <laughs> yes. And then you should feel the hat with me. Yes, like for I'm, sure. You got to throw your hat after. I will love to do that. It's so like, <laughs> bye. Love it. Yeah. yeah. You've been waiting for that moment to toss your hat. Yes, <laughs> it is. Woo. You were 12 when we first met you, and now, you're literally graduating high school. 18. So one shot, one shot, one shot, shot. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I love you. Okay, so I have already baked Steven's strawberry birthday cake, but I need to go ahead and layer it and put the icing on. And I was gonna cut up some strawberries and put that around the edge as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the icing and we'll see, maybe some of the kids will help me out. But either way, I think he's gonna be really excited about it because I know he has wanted me to make this cake for a while. And um, so I think it's gonna be really good. So the secret ingredient to this recipe that is actually so simple, um, I think I saw it from a Martha Stewart recipe or something like that years and years ago, but you put a packet of Jello mix, like the dry Jello mix packet into the cake batter when you are stirring it up and then you bake it that way and it just makes it like extra chewy and super delicious and just try it, I promise you, you'll like it. Thanks, bud. He's gonna be home any second now. We can see his reaction. I think he's gonna be excited. Yeah. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And I can tell him that you helped me because you did a good job of spreading all the icing. Yeah. <laughs> he's here? Yeah. 
He's here. He just pulled up. Lincoln's ready. <laughs> Make sure you say happy birthday. Lincoln. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Oh. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. We just finished your birthday cake like two minutes ago. Are you saying happy Ingus birthday? Says happy birthday. You say happy birthday. Lincoln, you come in. I love you so much. Hi, bud. Got it. Got it. They're taking you to the birthday cake. As you can imagine, it's in the kitchen. <laughs> I thought I was going to the bathroom. Okay. Close your eyes. Lean up, spirit, lean up! This is a serious trust exercise. <laughs> Yeah, especially for the little ones to be leading you. Wow. What do you think? Oh my gosh. Hey, this looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> that never happened from anybody, but. Yeah, nope, none of our drunk neighbors ever <laughs> did that before Man I got my first bite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Lincoln, yeah, doesn't it look good? So good. good. <laughs> it's um, cream cheese icing. I love it. Sweet, but not too sweet on the icing. Uh, and we did I taste test it. Like uh, Actually, the kids, the girls were like, um, I can't remember if it was Jude or Kira. Someone said, what if we have cake for dinner and then have dinner after? <laughs> have cake for dinner and then pizza for, I was for, like, for dessert. I was like, well, we could ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Okay. You'd be okay with that? I've been going so much. We've got two homes going on the market tomorrow. And yeah. Two, two houses that are closing yeah. tomorrow. So yeah. it's like, yeah. it's a lot. Yeah. Thanks, bud. I've just been, yeah. running been working around. hard. So, I'm proud of you, baby. I love you. And now you get to relax <laughs> for the rest of your birthday. Nice. Woohoo! You get to shake daddy's hand. Well, thank you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Happy graduation. Get ready now. <laughs> Dad was saying maybe we should try the cake. The cake for dinner, yeah. <laughs> That's everybody's I idea. Agree. You agree? <laughs> I agree. Okay, All nice. right, let's do it then. Let's call the kids. Oh gosh, <laughs> now I'm like nervous that it's not gonna live up to the hype. It's so good. It's good? It's good? I feel like Buddy the Elf. It's good? It's good? Good. So we are going to go ahead and close it out here and just enjoy some time with Steven this evening, celebrating him. But And we did actually order some pizza, so we'll have some real dinner it's in a little bit. It's a good birthday dinner. But the, the cake was really good. The kids was, liked it. Cake for dinner, man. That's yeah. a good that's I mean, the kids day. were pretty happy about it. So. Had your cake and eat it too. Exactly. He's 41 years old today, guys. I was thinking about it. I didn't make any uh, 41 under 41 lists. Oh, you do like, like your birthday list, don't I've you? Got, no, I mean like like of the top people in the world. Like I'm, like how they make the list 40 under 40. Like here are wow. 40 people under 40 who have changed the world. I never hmm. made that for 41. But I still have 364 days to make 42 under 42. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're number one in our heart, babe. Number one, babe. You're number one in our heart, for sure. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment telling Stephen happy birthday, and we'll see you guys later. Yeah, I'm gonna check. If you guys don't write happy birthday in the comments, I'm oh like, my gosh, I'm gonna be so sad. We love you guys so much. <laughs> love you guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. For your namesake, you will lead me back.